We've eventually finished our journey from Avebury all the way into Monmouth and uh, I have to say it was quite a trek, bearing in mind that uh, many of the roads are unsigned and uh, very, very narrow, which is typically Welsh and uh, very enjoyable. But we eventually got over to meet Adam, a man, <laughs> a man who I have known for a number of years but have never really spoken yeah, to, have no, I? Absolutely. We've, never met. we've written to each other. Yeah, absolutely. And you run Forest Par Paranormal? Yeah, Forest Paranormal Investigations. We've been and running for about three years, and uh, and who have we got here with the with, with the rest of the team? Yep. Well, me. I'm Mark. Um, I've been with a group for approximately two years. Uh, main interest on tech support guy, and pretty sceptical really. But and security. And security. Yeah. I try. <laughs> <laughs> and security. And the two <clears throat> ladies. Well, I'm Paula, and um, been with FPI since the beginning. Absolutely love paranormal. Very spiritual, holistic therapist. Mm-hmm. And vampire writer. You're an author, aren't you? You've written right. books about vampirism. Three yeah, vampire hold on. Yeah. And what, what more or less drew you into that? Is it just a general interest with that kind of goth type literature or? Um, just a very active imagination. It likes to wander into the dark. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Without a torch. <laughs> yeah. And lastly, we have Vicky, yeah, who, who works I'm, for the dark. Works for the dark, you mean English heritage? English heritage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so that gives you a clue to my interest in history. I've also been with the team since the beginning, um, three years ago, and I've enjoyed every minute, so learning more and more. Do you find it, time. it kind of resides quite well with what you do in English heritage? Yeah, historically, and just mm. discovering that goes sort of hand in hand with the past and then crops up again in the future, it's all to learn about and discover. Yeah, I'm also a sceptic, but an open-minded sceptic. Well, I think you've got to be. I don't mm. think you can no, allow yourself to be drawn not. too heavily in one direction or the other, really. Sure. We're a very yeah. uh, tech-oriented team, definitely. We rely on a lot of technology. Yeah. But we're, we're, we're all open to new ideas. and um, Although we don't work with mediums as such in the team, but we, we think we've all got well, that. No, it, it's just a, it's an experience of learning, isn't it? We go yeah. through mm. life, and if we don't bother to find out what lies beneath, then... Mm. It's not really much of a life experience, is it? So no. this is part of the appeal for me. Yeah. And lastly, camera, we've yeah. got one more person yeah, who's... Well, you've got two, actually. We've got Tim, who's on yeah. the camera. Uh, I'm Tim. I'm the EVP specialist. So I'm one of the ones, uh, a little bit like Adam with the video, that sits up all night listening to hours and hours of nothing, hoping to find Been there. something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've been in the team uh, three years as well. Um, I have had some paranormal experiences. The more we've done, the more proof that I want. It's, it's a never-ending mm. thing, really. The more well, you yeah, do. it drives you on and further into the subject because, really, you, what we're all looking for is the compelling evidence. That's right. Yeah. Um, not so much for ourselves because you either believe or you don't believe, That's right. mm. but for everybody else because all of us share our work, particularly so with sites like YouTube, dare I say, mm -hmm. and, of course, we become open season for every, no, yeah. hater, yeah. every, yeah. Hater every there, religious yeah. fanatic. It's like yeah. Adam says, you know, we, we could get a full floating apparition here right now and someone's going to say trick. Photoshop. Yeah, yeah. Photoshop. Yeah. Or, and, and that really, for our point of view, is a real tragedy of it all because we never ever, even if you had, if Jesus, if Jesus came <laughs> back to this earth and he ended up in America where they're deeply religious and no, I'm not being disrespectful here to Americans, but if Jesus arrived in America and declared who he was, he would end up in a lunatic asylum, yeah. wouldn't he? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be shot. Or on Jeremy Carl. <laughs> <Or> on Jeremy, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, on Jeremy. And that is the tragedy about the world in which we live in. No matter what we do to share and to show and to hopefully enlighten people, mm. we have it thrust back by these flat earthers, these people that want the status quo maintained mm. at all costs, whether it's through religious beliefs, or could it also be the fact that deep down they really do believe in it, but they're frightened of it. And, and to put push that fear away, they attack and ridicule serious researchers' work, mm -hmm. and, and that it will always be a constant battle. And just to round off, we have one more member here, Sean. Sean's over there. Sean? Yeah, you all know me. <laughs> no, no, they haven't met you, so. Right, I'm Sean. Um, been with, how long have we been together now? Uh, since uh, 2005. Yeah. Um, lead investigator, cameraman. A um, bit of a sensitive as well, pick up a few things, um, that's it really. And he enjoys what we do. 
Yeah. That's the main thing. <laughs> That's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So just to very quickly on Cam, if I can just I'm not to do on here. What we're hoping this is St Mary's Church, which I understand was a rebuild of a twelfth century church which was very heavily connected with the former um Tintern Abbey, which is now ruined and not too far from where we are. I understand that the church was rebuilt in 1861. Yeah, I believe so. Mm. And sadly, it burnt down in 1977. Seven. 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 But it was yeah. it was made redundant in 1970, wasn't it? 72. 72, sorry. But the interesting thing is, I'm not sure whether we will come across this tonight, but interred here is a man, an American soldier, who fought for the British Army in the First World War. And this is a curious story. He was badly wounded in France. He was taken back to Hampshire, to Farnborough, where he died of his injuries. And for some strange reason, and I, I can't fathom this out, he was buried here <laughs> in this churchyard. Yeah. So if we do come across his grave, that will be perhaps we, we might better do an EVP session mm, over yeah. that. So you never, you never, never know. But I'm really looking forward to this. And thank you very much, guys, for inviting us over okay. to be with part of your group. Great. Thank you.